Grace Lee. Yes. Good. My name is Mr. Clark, and I'm calling from the Guyana Public Service Cooperative Credit Union Limited to inform you that you would have just won $500,000. As seen from the drawing ceremony held at the Guyana Public Service Credit Union's GPSU head office on Hatfield Street, Georgetown. Grace Lee and Deborah Bamfield from the Ministry of Public Health, Mark Cyrus from Region 1, Rosalind Gill from the Ministry of Education, as well as Food for the Poor's Odell Semple were informed via telephone call that they were winners of the promotion. Minister within the Ministry of Social Protection, Keith Scott, who was at the ceremony, was given the honors of pulling the first name from the rotisserie after delivering the opening address. Minister Scott spoke briefly about the commitment of the GPSU to serving its approximately 165,000 members. Because what this union does is demonstrate initiative and it demonstrates a concern not only for its members, but for what they can give to society by means of example. And I'm very happy that this union has come up with a make-a-wish promotion. And this is the force, and I hope every year we'll have make-a-wish so that at least five persons will join us in helping to show an example of what loyalty is to a credit union. The promotion was launched as a way of giving back to the loyal members of GPSU, whose total contributions resulted in propelling the union to a total earning of $300 million over the recently documented period. GPSU's public relations officer, Paul Clark, spoke to the newsroom about what criteria members had to satisfy in order to enter the promotion. Now, for this particular promotion here, the Make-A-Wish promotion, management saw it fit to deal with persons who are working for $100,000 or below. We would have came on the fire for one of better, for one of better words, rather. Why is it that we choose persons who are working for $100,000 or below? But we want to go bottom up. Right, because if these persons are working for these amount of monies, we think that they would have a greater need for this promotion that we have. And I must say that we had almost 600,000 600, persons applying for this promotion. And the criteria are, are as follows. Now the member must be with the credit union for over five years, five years or about. Right? Must have at, at least had a loan within the last year or so. So the, the criteria didn't really stipulate that before you get this money, you had to take a loan. Even if you had a loan last year, last week, last month, whatever it is, but you must have had a loan, right? And you must be in good standing. The newsroom was able to secure comments from two of the grand prize winners who were present at the venue. I came today, um, wrong after 12, and I filled out the form jokingly and everything. And one of the members said, you know what, Ms. Banfi, stay, don't go away. Because I said, I have things to do. He said, no, 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 stay, hold on and wait. Anyway, I stayed and this is the result. It's really um, overwhelming, you know, to, to win $500,000. I mean, it might be nothing to persons, but it's something to me. Because I have things to do. I was telling my daughter this morning, I got, you know, look after her fees and, you know, God got to step in, right? So I give God a praise and thanks, you know. I come in, I hear that there's a promotion because as a member of the credit union, I heard there's a promotion and they told me the criteria. And so I was working on the 100,000, so I said, well, apply. So I applied, happy, very happy, excited because I'm doing some work right now in the house. And the Christmas time too, so I'm very happy for this. Minister Scott presented the winners with their checks as a crew of well-wishers looked on. Nigel Collymore, Newsroom.